Hey everybody, welcome to an Outer Rim Rookie Vlog. Today I'm going to talk about uh, something I just recently acquired that I'm super excited about. It's a rare moment I'm on this end of the room with this backdrop, but uh, it has to do with this display right behind me. As most of you guys know, Star Wars Visions was released about a month or two ago, and it was some incredible animation. One of my favorite episodes in that series was The Duel, and it had a lot to do with this guy right here. I got this great shirt from The Godfather for my birthday. That connects to one thing I had to add to the collection. So I think I talked about this last episode, but there's this gentleman called Desert Octopus. He makes these 3D printed um, schematics that you can purchase and print your own Star Wars characters. It's ones that he's chosen to build or some creative ones. And he did a whole line of Star Wars Visions, the dual action figures, all the three and three quarter inch. Obviously there were some shorter ones, there were some larger ones, but he also made a grand. And I was super excited, so excited in fact, I purchased the schematic not having any printer whatsoever, so I had to reach out to some friends and was able to track down someone who's willing to print this out for me in resin. And that's a big deal. I tell you, I've never been so happy. I want to show you what it looks like. It's fantastic. Let's take a quick look at it. My friend printed it out and I was able to, he gave it to me all in pieces and I was able to put it together, kind of. Uh, there's a little bit of some issues as I put it together <laughs> because I kind of suck at putting stuff together. If you haven't seen any of my shows, um, you'll know that I'm a little bit all thumbs. I'm a little bit all thumbs. I'm all thumbs. It's just no, there's no little bit about it. I'm all thumbs. So let's get to it. Let me show you the grand right now. So in the end, there he is. Isn't that awesome? I'm so happy with this thing right now. I'm being very careful. The hat is obviously loose. I haven't connected his hose yet. I really love this blaster. It's reminiscent of his original blaster that he got when uh, in his action figure. As you can see, there's a lot of connection in the style of it. Look at that. It's very reminiscent. It has that sort of bayonet feel to it and the handle and blocking the handle but you can kind of see that the handle still got that sort of hook to it it's really neat I love the detail that the creators of the of uh, visions put towards this character I'm gonna put it back on the shelf here I'm, a little <laughs> I'm afraid I'm afraid to touch this thing after what I did to it it's made me think really hard about a Ree's costume been doing a lot of, been doing a lot of thinking actually I did a, I did the video a while back on the 10, top 10 costumes that I want to build. And there's a reason it's number one. I'm still humming and hawing over it. I'm still kind of concerned about the latex mask and not so much the breathing inside of it, but the longevity of it, the cost of it. I know eventually if I was to choose to do this costume, I would get it done. Hell or high water. What I'm most concerned about when building a costume like Rees is the longevity of the mask. It's just like, I can't put it on display, really. The sucker needs to be um, in a dark, cool place, little moisture, away from sunlight, away from human sweat and touching and oils. 
Anyway, I swear you look at it, it will fall apart. And I mean, that's all in my head. I mean, what's the point in having something if you're not going to enjoy it? And just lately, the trooping has been very minimal, if at all. I might have a troop uh, in two weeks, maybe. The last troop I had was almost a month ago. Fan Expo's in February. C4 is in March, April. There isn't a lot of troops happening right now. And it's kind of like, if I'm gonna make it, I wanna wear it. But I'm almost 50 years old. How long is this mask gonna last me? If it lasts me 20 years, maybe I'm happy. If I'm, if, if I'm still cosplaying at the age of 70, <laughs> I don't know. But I feel I gotta. I feel it, it's. Uh, I've been. This is. It's been in my head. During my lunch break at work, I printed out a CRL of Reese, filled up a duotang full of what it should look like, all the specs. Even printed out a forum post of uh, one of the gentlemen who built the costume, uh, C. Randall. In fact, that's him right there. That's his costume, and I printed out his forum stuff and uh, all the details of the costume. Everything from pics to what his boots look like to the final look. I know I could pull this off. I've been itching for something creative to do lately. I want to build something else. I want to build that. And who knows, maybe it'll give me the the courage to build something like this, or maybe Mahonic, or maybe like a, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a Ask Ack or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. It makes sense. Hell, I built a friggin' costume when I was in grade five for crying out loud, way back in 1983, 84. First ever in Rees cosplayer. What's the point in life if you're not gonna live it? It's a lot of money. I'm putting away, I've been putting away money on the side here just because I know I'm wanting to create something. I'm putting like 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks a paycheck, just putting it to the side, putting it to the side. I don't know. This is my original Reese action figure when I was a kid. Original one with the original gun blaster. Sorry. It would make sense. It would make sense. Gotta make it full circle, right? George Lucas says it's poetry. I'm not getting any younger. Pretty soon all this stuff won't be able to fit into anymore. The mask, nothing lasts forever. The mask will deteriorate, just like me right now. <laughs> I have so many friends that could help me out with the, the, the details of breathing and, and, and fitting and stuff. I have people that can teach me. I'm hoping by the end of this year, end of 2021, start of 2022, 22, my lucky number, my goal, When I turn 50, it's either complete this costume or at least be on my way of completing this costume. See, I'm, I'm smiling just thinking about it. So there you go, me rambling about Rees and uh, an awesome, awesome look at uh, Desert Octopus's 3D print of Vision's Gran. If you want to take a look at his work, if you want to purchase it yourself, link down below. Like I said, he has this as well as a whole bunch of other Visions characters. And I would also check out Mighty Jabba's Collection um, YouTube channel. I'll put a link again down below where he printed out all of the Vision characters designed by Desert Octopus. They look fantastic. I totally recommend checking out the YouTube channel and taking a peek at each and every one. Fantastic, fantastic, I love it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, uh, sh spread the word, share the video, and don't forget to check out the Generation X-Wing podcast episode every Saturday. Thanks for watching. Remember, armor and grands are built on hope. Bye.